I have been informed that this is the highest two bedroom apartment in the world. I cannot confirm that nor deny that because I do not have proof. But I can very confidently say that this is the tallest and the highest two bedroom apartment that I have seen in my life. And it is in the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. Let's take a look at this gorgeous piece of gem right now. This is the main entrance of the apartment. You have to take two elevators to come to this floor. First elevator takes you up to the 55th floor and the second elevator takes you to this level. The moment you enter, you have an entry for here right at this corner. Here is where you have a powder bathroom, where you have your sink as well as your toilet. Right next to it is your space for all the servers and this is where you have your washer and dryer space along with a closet space for hanging your coat, a coat rack. The two bedrooms are right at this corner, both are with attached washrooms, so it's two bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, it's 2100 square feet. You have a combination of marble flooring and wooden flooring. Now what you see is what you are going to get in this apartment. Through this passageway, you have space for more coat hanging for your guests if you want to entertain them. It's made of nice wood with a veneer coat. You keep on walking and you get into your living room space. There is a countertop over here to serve food or to serve alcohol to the guests who are coming in. There is a mini refrigerator. The appliances are by Mille. It's a German brand. Here is where you can have your setup for your couch, your TV can go on the wall around this space. A little niche area at this end. You do have a pillow which is running in the center but if used smartly can be a natural divider between the living and the dining room space. You have certain drawers that are right at this section. This space could be your dining section. Now, take a look at the view outside. Unfortunately, the windows have not been cleaned up, but you have a clean and clear view of entire Dubai, the sea. The sun is setting. It is a beautiful time to be in this apartment. You have a thermostat, which is central air conditioning. This is your kitchen space. Once again, you have melee appliances, your induction cooktop, your exhaust, your refrigerator, and you have a Frankie sink along with the usual cabinets that you get and the lights that you get in the Burj Khalifa. This is your double door refrigerator. We're going to go check out the two bedrooms, which is across on the other end of the entrance. On the left hand side is the bedroom one and right hand side was the main entrance. Through this passageway, you have your entire bedroom section. Between these two switches is where you can have your bed. Once again, you have a pure west view. It's nice, the sun is setting. You are above most of the buildings that are around, except for that one where you are at the terrace eye level. However, that does not hinder your view. The cabinets are inside the niche area. This is pretty much a standard cabinet that you get in the entire Burj Khalifa. The washroom has your standard sink, your toilet, your bathtub and a rain shower. 
We are going to go to the second bedroom, which is the master bedroom. Here is your master bedroom. These are the standard switches which are available in the entire apartment. Your wardrobes are all in the niche on this end flush to the wall, which means the entire space is your bedroom space. Let's start with the washroom. I call this the master washroom because you have a separate shower section. You have his and her vanity. You have a bathtub and you also have a bidet as well as your toilet. That's why I call this the master bathroom. For my Indian viewers, a bidet is something which is a replacement for a jet spray. Here is where you can have your bed with the two switches on the other end. Your thermostat is over here. And from the bedroom also, you have a beautiful view of the sea. It is a little cloudy day. Unfortunately, we do not have a far out distant view. Now let's go talk about the pricing of this gorgeous property. Before I tell you the price of the property, I'm going to give you an introduction about myself. Yours truly, I am Ravi Keval Ramani. I'm a second generation real estate agent based out of Mumbai and I also deal in properties in Dubai along with my dear friend, Mr. Manoj Solanki. How's it home? This is Mr. Manoj Solanki. He's a very dear friend of mine. He's the whole and soul who manages Dubai for me. So what is the asking price of this property? 9 million dirhams in dirhams. In dollars, 2.45 million dollars. And for our Indian friends, 20.5 crore rupees only. There you go. Thank you very much. If you're interested in this property, please call on the number which is on the top right hand side corner. It is his number. Arrivederci.